Hey, what is up? It's Lynn, and I'm doing the once the battle tag, I believe it's called 2016, even though it's 2017. Why is that? Why am I doing this in 2017 instead of 2016? Because you're lazy. Shut up. That's true, though. I'm, I'm lazy. Okay, I'll get the questions on my phone because, like, I'm not going to memorize them. So, here's Question number one. What was your favorite part of the Pokemon 20th anniversary? Which wasn't even spelled correctly. But that doesn't matter. Well, my favorite part of the Pokemon 20th anniversary was maybe Pokemon Go. Because, because my dad started playing it. And for the first time ever, I can talk to my dad about Pokemon. And he totally gets it. He even passed my level. So he's better than me at Pokemon Go right now. Which is kind of annoying, but still, I'm really proud of it. But yeah, I get to play it with my dad. It's so cool. Cause like I've spent my whole life really loving Pokemon, and he's never really cared. He's been more like, "When are you going to grow up and stop playing that childish game?" And now he really loves it too. So yeah, so I really love Pokemon Go. I still play it like every day. Of course I play it every day, you get daily bonuses, why would I miss the daily bonus? I wouldn't. 2016 was really a good year for Pokemon and for me loving Pokemon. Because I started my channel and everything, so... Just a really good year in general. Second question... What is your favorite Pokemon from Pokemon Sun and Moon? Oh, oh that's a tough question. I mean, there's so many of them. Oh, I did basically just discover that shiny a little right you looks like shiny. Da -da -da. It's the best ever. It's so cute. I love it because I, I already love the. Oh, I can't speak. See, this is how excited I get. Because my favorite childhood Pokemon was Raichu. Because I didn't care for Pikachu. Who cares about Pikachu? Pikachu is lame, but I really loved Raichu. Ash is wrong. He should have evolved his Pikachu, but he should really because Raichu was like my Pokemon. But anyway, so I really loved Raichu, and then the Denny came, and the Denny was like, Raichu, but smaller and cuter. So I kind of liked the Denny because it reminded me of Raichu. And now there's a Raichu that reminds me of the Denny. It's so cool and funny. I love them both. So I love Raichu when it's shiny. That's the best Pokemon in Sun and Moon. Question number three. Gotta read it first. Which video are you most proud of making this year, or most excited for next year? Well... I mean, I started my channel last year, so... I guess the first video would be the one I was the most proud of. Because I actually did it and started my channel, so... I guess that's a good answer. I haven't watched it in a long time, so... Probably sucks by now, but whatever. I feel like I, even if I make a video that's not perfect, not the best one I've made, maybe lots of mistakes, mostly mistakes, not good at all, really bad video. Now I still learned something, so it's it's okay. Guess that just means my next video will be even better. You know, can't lose. Everything's good. Eventually, everything will be good. So positive. That's nice. I hope. I hope it's nice. Well, okay, question number four is... What is the coolest bit of Pokemon merch you got this year? Oh boy! Let me tell you about the Dana. It's my shiny Dan plush from... Mads from Den Denmark. I can't even speak right now. Yeah, he's the best. I made a bunch of plushies over here. Not all of them, but like... Ivysaur, Gengar, uh... I don't think you can see Torchic, but it, uh, yeah, he also missed the priming ball. So. Short answer, this is the best plush ever. Love it. I mean, he's so cool. Have you ever seen a shiny Zen plush? Before, I mean, I mean, I haven't. This is the best. I love it so much. I love Denmark. Denmark is such a great country full of great people. And when I say great people, I mean one person and he knows who he is. Also you do, because I say this name. So, 
and also I guess if you're talking like official merch from the Pokemon company or whatever I guess it would be Sun and Moon yeah got both games and number five what is the best Pokemon video you have seen this year oh boy there's so many I mean all the videos by people I consider my friends that make YouTube videos are really good but I must say I really love like the trailers for Sun and Moon with you know the boy like Shohei was his name when he like moved to Hawaii and he met that guy I don't remember his name if he had a name but it was like super cute and there's three of them I think it's like a story and they're all friends and they're so cute I just <laughs> they're so cute I just love them so much it's just oh, I want to have a bunch of friends and play Pokemon I'm here all alone with my plushes which is pretty great too so I'm fine okay question number six is what should your viewers expect in 2017 and I would say more videos about Pokemon on my channel of course what else I think my videos will have even more and even better drawings hopefully I think they've gotten better because because making videos just forces me to draw lots of things and that just makes you better because you get to practice lots and I've learned more about video editing so I think my videos will be better and I hope I can start like new series kind of or try new things too we'll see I hope 2017 will be fun it will be fun and number seven is name a channel with less subs your viewers will love and should subscribe to. Well, there's a bunch of people, aren't there? So, well, I guess the Crystal Badge, Mia, she's nice. Uh, you like her, so you should sub to her. Um, who wants to be tagged? I tag all of you. And if you have a channel and you haven't done a tag, you're now tagged by me. It's official. Make the video. So I guess that's it. I don't know if there's anything else I should mention now that I'm vlogging. I don't like vlogging. Hi, I'm probably going to make a vlog because I'm waiting for Pokemon stuff from awesome, friendly people. They're my friends. Also, I've got Jiu-Jitsu training to do today and I'm really excited. Because it's awesome. And I'm really bad at it still. Like, I should be better at it. I don't even deserve the yellow belt, which is like... Slightly above. Suck it. As a white belt. <laughs> No, but really, if you're a white belt, you're probably doing really well. Keep training, it's really fun. Man, it's so fun, I love all those people. I'm, I can't speak about it, I will get way too emotional. It's ridiculous. I was like, never had it. No, no, maybe one day I'll make a video about hope. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. I know I should sort out my hair, like I should have sorted my hair out like half a year ago <laughs> or more, but I'm lazy and cutting your hair is kind of expensive.